Here we are, in the discovery. Let's just listen to this music a little bit. That's good, new game. Laura just docks right in, just fall right in there. So it's a nice snowy type of Tyrolee, Tomb Raider 4. But let's have a look at this. The good old spiral inventory. So we've got some flares, binoculars, one pistol for some reason. I'm just kidding, it doesn't matter. Compass. I don't know where north is normally, so I definitely don't know where north is in this game. Small med packs and the very, very rare flares in this game. Right, let's move on swiftly, shall we? You can just run off this. Got an epic howling wind in the background, but it's very good for the, the feeling of it being cold, along with Lara's epic condensation or she's vaping or something so let's start there's a small med pack okay when I run outside here there's two enemies and for the purpose of doing no pistols it's just quite terrible let me show you what I mean but uh, let, me, let me just use pistols because it just it, it's horrible it's, it's no big deal Good. So it takes a hell of a lot of shots to kill these guys with the pistols. So what I was actually getting at is you need to get inside this, this little hut, right? And there's a lot of stuff going on over there. And there's this ice sheet, which we'll deal with in a moment. So we just want to get into the, the hut. And there is a key that we need, and the key is not too far away. You can get up there right here. There's a dead guy. Here's the key. Just like that. This is where the key goes, obviously. Hut key. I know there was other hut keys in Tomb Raider. Maybe it was Coastal Village in Tomb Raider 3. It was a hut key. We'll head on here couple of boxes this is a an object it's not a actual wall you can just shoot this so while I'm continuing through this little area I just want to mention on my first playthrough of this game there's a ladder here it took about three hours and I found seven out of nine secrets and this is shootable and just recently I found one more secret, so I found 8 out of 9, so that's also shootable. Head on in here, I'm going to light a flare, even though they are a very precious commodity in this game. What you want to do is go down like this. So what I was saying is, I've, I'm pretty sure I found all the secrets from this level. Okay, don't do that. And also, don't get a flare death. Throw that away. And now I forgot what I was saying. And there's there's a few levels. There's three or four levels. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I think I'm good. But I'm not certain I've got all the secrets. Right, so let's pull this box. We need access to that jump lever. But for now, I'm, I'm pretty sure there isn't another secret in this level that I'm missing. 
So let's go with that. Okay, so that shattered that ice sheet. Um, so yes, in 2 meter 4 tier release, like you've seen, um, I shot the box, I shot that. I always, basically the rule of thumb is when you stuck, shoot the shit out of everything, right? But there was one thing I did not try and shoot. This. And I actually should have noticed that there's something wrong with that lock. I should have, but I didn't. But I found it, but it was took too long. Shoot that. Here's our first secret. And that's a, this is actually exactly what I thought. Because I missed that secret and I said, why do I not have flares? That's why. There's these essential flares in the first secret. Right there. Okay, let's move... Let's move on. Okay, that, that, that's not working. That's not working. Don't glitch. Moving swiftly on now. So let's head on back up. I uh, can't jump from there. I need to come from here. Wait, now I can't remember if I actually oh, went into this little room here. Of course I did, I mentioned the flare death. Okay, I think we can jump from there. Cool. Let's have a look. 12 sounds right. And let's head up back by means of this ladder. So this is somebody's first Tyrolee, the author, I think it's pronounced Freincraft. And I'm not a Tomb Raider critic, Tomb Raider Tyrolee critic, I wouldn't want to do that. I did buy Tomb Raider 1 from the store the day it came out in 1996 and been playing since then. So I think I could do reviews if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. It's only 23 years. Okay, so now we're going to head on out this way. And while I'm s actually, let's get let's get up to the top here. You just fall down. You can fall down here actually. Now you got to be careful. That water down there is like the water from Tomb Raider 3 when you get to Antarctica and I'll show you that in a moment you just you have the uh, coldness bar right here we go okay we gotta crawl out this but we'll get to that you can stand up just in that spot and we're gonna move over to this ladder don't actually have to the fall is not that far, but I want to. Okay. So here's our shotgun. You can choose ammo in the classic um, Tomb Raider 4 fashion, but I don't have other ammo. Let's equip that. We've got some very endangered snow tigers here. They can be killed with one shot. But I failed at that. But it's RNG. That's not me. That's all RNG, man. Okay, so... Watch how quickly... Oh, by the way, you can stand on this little ledge right there and the tigers won't attack you. So if you don't want to bother with them... Look how fast that goes down. I suppose it was faster to rate a 3, but when you surface, it's still pretty fast. Makes a little beeping sound when you getting close to death. So let's head on over to this platform right there. And this, besides the fast shimmy, is one of the main features, the jump straight up feature. 
just press forward and jump and then she'll do that okay so this room is pretty dark a lot of the areas in this territory are dark that's why I was stressing about these flares in my first playthrough try to do the whole game with three flares man okay there's shotgun shells in the med pack just head on back the same way now let's go this direction fast climb as well just grab in the air here otherwise you're gonna hit your head now I believe there's no way to climb out only that first block you could climb out so if you fall in here you will die half towel over here don't fall in the water don't look in the water either spend a lot of time looking for secrets and that minus 60 water for no reason Okay, we do want to head on over that way. The correct way to go is down there. But let's do this. Miss this jump to land there. Some shotgun shells. tight jump it can be done there's nothing on that ledge but we do want to go somewhere else right now if I can remember where to go how can you not remember already okay So let's just drop down here. I would do a flare cancel, but I want to save the flares. Okay, let's get this out. These guys aren't so terrible. Um, you hear that sound? I think it's actually the... It's a watery sound, and I think it's the sound for Lara taking damage. So it's a lot of blood. A full flow of water. Water? Blood. I thought they dropped stuff. I could have missed their drops, but that's fine. Let's pull this out. Very windy down here. I can shoot these. I don't think there's anything inside. No. That's not what I need. I went this. Oops. I think you heard that that watery sound quite clearly that time. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a reason because I've seen I've seen in another tier early where that water sound happens. It's gotta be linked to something and it's 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 worth having that sound when you don't want it for whatever reason it needs to be there. So there's a key, and that opens the gate next to where I moved that box. Let's go there. That's not right. So what do we got? 
blue jade key. Is it blue or is it jade? Or is it made out of jade and it's blue? Not sure. This is what we wanted, right here. This is what they showed you. You can let go at that point, but don't need to. Pretty safe right there. Okay, there's a dead guy. Um, here's some of these um, icicles that drop, like in Tomb Raider 3, but they just look a little bit better. You want to avoid going underneath those ones. Just shimmy there. And let go. And let go. Just kidding. Do actually let go. and careful now don't need to go there oh. I need to go here she's probably gonna hit her head here and there's no harm in running and jumping right what have we got now what now got two slopes what you need to do is jump forward once sliding right to the end of that slope see Lara's auto look is messing with us so let's just line up nicely. Instead of jumping to that slope first, just don't bother. Just go straight to that one. I like to aim and then do a half tile. There we go. Jumped a little bit early. Got a bit freaked out there, but that's fine. Can't climb there. I need to climb here. It's all good. Okay, now we just need to get up to that and I think I can do one of these now that's right so it's a nice bit of platforming there well not really platforming but climbing I don't believe you can do the jump forward out of the crouch position nope Cool. There's a keyhole. We've got the blue jade key, but that's not the right key. Judging from that color and the way the keys are named in this place, that would probably be the red crimson key, but we don't have that. While I'm here, actually, let me just tell you the story about behind this Tyrolee. Uh, let me just drop the neutral accent for a moment. It's easier for me to read. I'm just going to read it from the from the author. Lara finds some of her father's documents in his study, which are records of a vanished monastery in Tibet that was supposedly a very valuable artifact that has not been found to this day. Lara decides to search for this, the lost monastery. Perhaps she will find the precious artifact, but she is persecuted on her way on her journey. Persecuted? What does that mean? <laughs> so, not much given away. There's just a valuable artifact somewhere. Let's go get it. But that's cool. No one cares too much about stories in TRLEs. She's going to go and find something and steal shit and kill people on, along the way. We know what Lara's deal is. We know. Okay, let's head on over this way. There's one of these good old blades from Tomb Raider 2. Just wait for it to be closing and then jump. And jump again. Oh, touch me. I hate that. I hate giving advice and then failing. Like, oh look, this is what you do. You do wait. It works every time until video time. 
Again, 60% of the time it works every time. Let's go all the way to the end. Why not? You think that's a lever over there? Yes, probably. So I thought maybe this view was stopping you from seeing something, but no, no secrets here. Just leave. Yeah, we can just uh, fall off there. Okay, why not? Blur cancel. <laughs> Uh, so we opened the door somewhere, it wasn't very clear where it was, but it was the one across this passage here. Tomb Raider 4 fire. What's its hitbox? Quickly. At least you get very hot since the water's so cold now, it's all good, right, Laura? Okay, let's head on to the right. Get another right. Go in here, there's a lever. Keep on swimming. And no, I'm not gonna say the Finding Nemo keep on. I'm not doing it. Just no, it's not keep on, it's just keep swimming. Um so that's where we want to go, but go this way first, please. I'm not doing it, I'm not singing the to finding Nemo. Okay, so that activates some spikes. So what they, these spikes would do, and these ones right there, they would go and kill you. Those ones still will kill you, but since these are activated, it's fine. Let's go back through here. This is where we need to go. What did we get, by the way? The revolver. It takes the place of the Desert Eagle. Sounds the same. Let's try that out. And if I'm not mistaken, it's pretty similar in terms of being powerful as shit. Look at that. Is that the red crimson key? Let's check. No, it's a stone key. It's just a thought. Blue jade. Red crimson. Whatever. It's not. Oh, where am I going? Gotta go this way. No, we don't have to go this way. It's right in here. Now let's not get set on fire again. On purpose, as it may have been, let's not do that again. Here we go. Right, and that's actually the first part. We'll just call that level one. You know, like in Tomb Raider 4. It has that just change over to the next level and doesn't give you f stats for the level so it doesn't really feel like a level but it is like in uh, Temple of Karnak and the Lost Lake I think it was called you just go back and forth so what's the point here I believe there are only three secrets on the first level so let's go with that Cool, um, let's call that a day, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Level 2, The Discovery.